you know, I'm, you know, I, sometimes I feel like I'm always, I, you know, I'm, do I talk, I talk a good game, but do I walk it? I'm always wanting people to give 100% and push to the extreme. And once you get to the extreme or to your max, push past that because if you can do it, then it's already, it's, it's not your max because you've already done it. That means you can actually go further than you're showing that you can, than you're doing right there at that moment. So standing up there was kind of like, you know, here I'm talking about on the commercial, the biggest battle comes from within. There's nothing inside me that was wanting me to be standing on that ledge, sitting there posing it. I mean, my mind's going, can't they green screen this? And all I'm thinking is, man, you know, sometimes you just got to, I was doing it for me and doing it for all the times I've told somebody to do something that's past what they believe they could actually do. I mean, I just, you know, that, that battle was just for me. I, I had to do it for myself right there. You can't know what it felt like to be there on the edge, knowing that that, that rope or that line, I mean, that if you fall, that could be it. I mean, you just got to, you know, so right then I had to go, I had to put my mind out of it and just go with my heart and all the times I ever wanted to do something to amount to something or all the people that if they had the chance, they would they would do it because they'd want to amount to something and be remembered. I just, for at that moment, that's all I kept thinking about is what about all the people out there that, you know, given the chance would, would switch places with you. And, and then what about the times everybody told you, 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 you know, what are you believing in the sport? It's illegal and you're believing you can do clothing company and you didn't even go to college and you know right then I, at one point I, I started actually getting mad because I started thinking of, I started focusing on all the people who've doubted me in the past and I was getting mad at them so I was standing there <laughs> honestly showing them you know what time it is like yeah you can see me or you know feel me now type of thing I knew that day I'd remember for the rest of my life and I wanted to make the most of it you know I was with I was with Bobby Ryzak and, and he's an underdog. He's got a lot to prove to the world, yourself. And then this Montecito was just a little bit of a, you know, just a little, wasn't even a mountain, but it was something I was going to get, have fun, you know, uh, hopefully, you know, make some friends and, and, and just kick this fucking hotel's ass. You see what I'm saying? And he wasn't going to get me. I was going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, you know, the, the, the craziest thing is knowing that Bobby Ry Bobby Ryzak had pulled all this together short notice and um and you know he, he had a vision in me and, and and he still has a long way to go to be to be noticed. I believe he, he's a, a a diamond in the rough and, and one day people will be talking about him like like they talk about Scorsese and the George Lucases and the Spielbergs and you know I wanted to get down with the get down and do the do like we do for for Ryzak. And, uh, and and help him get his his name out there and help me, you know, just I just wanted to be part of the team and make him proud. I was just an extension. I, I got to be water boy again. You know, they're filming me. All I got to do is not be a little little cry baby and stand there and, and puff my chest up. You know what I'm saying? My part was easy. In most things we do, the biggest battle comes from within. Every underdog has a champion inside just takes focus, it just takes time. I mean, no one believed I could fly until I did it. 